Alright, so in this video, we're going to be talking about vector addition, subtraction, and scalar multiplication. Okay, so this is just going to be doing operations with vectors. Now, just as we can do operations on just regular numbers, like adding them, subtracting them, multiplying, dividing, we can do the same thing with vectors here. Okay, so let's see an example. Well, we can, we're going to first go over adding vectors. Okay, now... If we have one vector that's 2 comma 3 and another vector that is 1 comma 3, if we add them together, all we do is kind of almost think of it like, like, like terms, okay? We're going to add the x components together or we're going to add the y components together. Now I'm doing this in two dimensions rather than three because it's just going to be easier to visualize. It's going to be easier for me to draw at least. So you add the x components, two and one, that gives you three. Then you add the y components, that's three and three, which gives you six. And that is how you add vectors. Okay, pretty simple. Now, how does this make sense? Well. Let's kind of visualize what's going on here. We have first the vector 2 comma 3. So actually, let me make this a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. We have 2 comma 3. So we have just this vector going from here to here. All right. Now, we also have the vector 1 comma 3. So if we're going to add that on, we're just going to add it on to this vector right here. So we're going to go 1 comma 3 from this from the tip of that vector right there. So one over and three up. Okay, we go up there, we draw a vector up to here, and you can see that if you were to draw a, what we call this a resultant vector, okay, that connects the initial point from that final point that you reach to, okay, what, what, how, how could you represent that vector? Well, that's 3 over and 6 up. So this makes sense. All right. Now, what if we want to subtract two vectors? Okay. What if we have something like 2 comma 3 minus 1 comma 3? Okay. Well, let's visualize this again. We have 2 comma 3 to start off with. Okay. That is going to be the vector from here to here. Now, we are going to subtract 1, 3, which means that the vector is now going to go in the opposite direction. Okay, So you're going to have it go 1 in the x direction backwards, Okay, so it, kind of negative 1 in the x direction. Okay, And then we're going to have it go 3 down because we're subtracting now. So what this next vector, what this 1, 3 will look like is this. Okay, you're going one left and three down. Okay, and the vector that connects the tip of your final vector, okay, to the initial point, which is this vector right here, what is the notation for that? Well, that's going to be one comma zero. How did we get there? Well, subtract your components, right? You have two minus one. That's 1. 3 minus 3, that's 0. Okay? And it's the same thing. If you add on another dimension, okay, then it's going to be the same thing. You just subtract the two numbers. All right? Now, lastly, we're going to touch on scalar multiplication. Okay? So let's say that we have the vector a, which is 3, 4. Okay, so let's draw a vector a. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, okay? And that vector goes right about to here. All right, now that's vector A. What about 2A? What if we multiply it by a scalar number? A scalar number, okay, opposite than a vector. A vector has magnitude and direction. A scalar quantity just has magnitude. Okay, so for this 2, it's not giving you a direction, it's not a vector, it's just a scalar. Okay, a scalar, just giving you a magnitude. The magnitude is 2, which magnitude means size or amount. We're talking about amount here, the amount is 2. 
It's just a scalar number. That's why we're calling it scalar multiplication. We're multiplying by a scalar. So 2 times the vector a is just going to be 2 times each component, which is going to be 6, comma 8. Okay, so you just multiply that 2 through each component. Now, what does that look like here? Well, now if we're going to draw that vector 6, comma 8, we go 4, 5, 6, and then 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, and that will go out to here. All right, and 2a will be this vector right here. So we go up through, and that is 2a. Okay, so you can see that we're just we're just multiplying the length by 2. Okay, that's all that's changing. The direction is not going to change when you multiply by a scalar. Okay, only the amount will change. Okay, so only the length of this vector is changing. It's just being, it's being amplified by a factor of 2. All right, now this makes sense with our, our I, I hat, J hat, K hat stuff. Okay, remember that in the last video we dealt with vector C that had the components 3, 2, and 2. Okay, and we wrote that as 3i hat plus 2j hat plus 2k hat. Well, remember, if we just substitute in for what we know these vectors represent, this actually just turns back into 3, 2, 2. Okay, watch. So 3 times, remember, i hat is 1, 0, 0, plus 2 times, it's going to be, uh, j hat, which is 0, 1, 0, plus 2 times k hat, which is 0, 0, 1. Okay? So, multiply. This is just three iterations of scalar multiplication. We're just multiplying through a 3 here, multiplying through a 2 here, and multiplying through a 2 here. So, let's multiply through, and we get a 3 times 1, which is going to be 3. 3 times 0 is 0, 3 times 0 is 0, that's going to be plus a 2 times 0 is going to be 0, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 0 is 0, plus 2 times 0, 0, 2 times 0 is 0, 2 times 1 is 2. So you can see here that we basically just amplified i hat, j hat, and k hat, okay? We started out, those are just vectors with length 1. Okay, and we ended up, well, we now have a vector of length 3, a vector of length 2, and a vector of length 2. And those are our components, and we can add them together to get our actual vector back, 3, 2, 2. Okay, let's do that. Well, remember how we add vectors. We literally just add the components, 3, 0, and 0. That gives us 3. 0, 2, and 0. That gives us 2. 0, 0 and 2 gives us 2. And there you go, you have 3, 2, comma 2 already back. All right, so really, you know, that's just what we're working with here. That's how this notation can turn into this notation, okay? That's, that's just, you know, that's the transformation between the two, okay? It's just a little bit of vector addition and a little bit of scalar multiplication. We're starting from these standard basis vectors, okay, these, these unit vectors i hat, j hat, and k hat, okay, we're amplifying them by a certain amount, and we're adding them together. When we add them together, we get that resultant vector, which in this case is vector c, all right? So that's kind of it. We're going to be doing some practice with this, and uh, that's going to do it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for vectors and the geometry of space in the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below, along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon.